All right, folks, welcome back to Twins Proof. I'm Derek. And I'm Darren. And we have uh, a new black-owned product. This time it is coffee. Our first coffee review. Yeah. It's uh, Mocha Box out of Washington, D.C. So uh, tell us a little bit about the owners of Mocha Box. Uh, Floyd Sarton and Harlan Thomas II. Uh, they're originally from Detroit, but they moved to Washington DC and found themselves uh, getting into the coffee industry and when they got into the coffee industry completely unaware of the lack of African-American uh, exposure uh, and representation in, in the industry so what they did really interesting I, I think this is a really good idea they they basically made their coffee primarily sourced from regions dominated by people like us people of color and the name, which I thought was really cool, to, we take for granted names, yeah. Mocha. Uh, the, the name Mocha, they, it was inspired by the, city, the port city of Mocha, which is located, uh, was located just, just off of the coast of Yemen. So that's pretty cool. And supposedly the story is that Ye uh, Mocha is where Marco Polo first found coffee. Oh, wow. So interesting. That's pretty interesting. Cool. Never heard that before. So this is pretty cool. Always the stories behind these products are always so interesting, and you always find uh, new bits of information that uh, they really make the product that much better. And also, as you may have seen in our other video, coffee, cigars, my favorite. No, my we we haven't we haven't done coffee in the. It's a, we, no, but we talked about it. In we the, talked about it, right? Yeah, we talked yeah. about it. So uh, again, this is this is a great opportunity for me to enjoy some more coffee with a nice cigar. So the cigars we're smoking tonight are from a black-owned mobile cigar company in Chicago called Smoking Aces. Uh, my brother Darren went to Chicago last week, got a chance to experience that really good experience. We got a video on, on that an interview with the owner of uh, Smoking Aces. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that for that. Another video by itself, it deserves it, it all by itself. So tonight we're gonna be talking about Mocha Box. And the one that we are drinking is Black Bottom. We chose this one because it sound, had an interesting name. I like the name. And the, uh, the it says hints of dark sugar sweetness, caramel, aromatic spices uh, it's a medium to dark roast so this should be pretty good yeah now when we got the shipment uh, you could smell it coming yeah, out of the mailbox the box. it was like really nice yeah that's pretty cool so i was excited about and that. the packages are really nice i like the black black bags uh resealable 12 ounce bags and this was a three pack i think we paid 26 dollars for this three pack no it's six ounces Six ounces, sorry. Six ounce bags. Six ounce bags, and we paid twenty six dollars for these three bags, not yeah. including the shipping. These are freshly ground. It has uh, the ro actually roasted date of eight twenty two thousand twenty, and best used before eleven twenty. Right. So, I like the fact that they they recommend when it's used by yeah. it because it's so freshly ground. Because obviously the the taste will change slightly uh, as it ages. Yep, and that one is Black Bottom. This one is Haiti Blue, and this one is Columbia. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's light those cigars, or we no, we'll no, we're gonna take taste a, it for this yeah, first. Yeah. Very mellow, really smooth. Uh, no, no bite, which I, which I like. It's, that's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's just what it, it describes. It's black. It's yeah, black. It's a, the, the dark sugar sweetness, uh, caramel. It, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really mild, but really nice. This is really a good cup of coffee for late at night, because it's not one that's going to wake you up like something with a darker roast. But it's really, it's really mellow. Yeah, you don't get, you don't have the aftertaste of some coffees. We like our coffee with a lot of cream and sugar, but um, <laughs> but you can still you can still again, really taste it. If it's good coffee, you'll still be able to mm -hmm. taste good coffee through cream and sugar. This will go well with rum too. Yeah, yeah, always. So I'm going to be smoking 
a mild cigar. Uh, Derek is going to be smoking a medium. Oh, and while we're doing that, the shirt's trademark. Um, one of our good friends, uh, his son, started his own clothing line called Trademark. And we'll post that information on the video. But yeah, really good quality shirts, yeah. really good silk screening. And he does his own silk screening. Smells good. She smells almost like chocolate. <laughs> Good too. With the coffee. Right. Yeah, we um we mentioned before pairing cigars uh, with your drinks or your drinks with your cigars. You don't want one you don't want one to overpower the other. <clears throat> so the the mild coffee with the mild cigar or medium cigar, perfect. Oh, I can smell yours. That one smells like it's got a lot of cedar in it. It does. Very much so. But yeah, really good pairing with the cigar. So We don't have rum in here? No, we don't. That's what's missing. <laughs> but yeah, we, we wanted to taste the coffee and nothing else uh, and just see how it paired well with the, uh, with the cigars. And I think it does a great job. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, I'm real anxious to try the, uh, the other flavors out, the Haiti, Haiti Blue. Blue. That's, I think I'm more now, interested to try that one. The Haiti Blue says organic, light, medium roast, hints of almond and butter. Okay. Sounds good to me. And this one is Colombiana. Probably very similar to a Colombian roast. Okay, <laughs> I need my reading glasses. And the uh, the Haiti blue is the, the origin is Don 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 region in Haiti. Let's read that one. Uh, origin. Uh, is it? I think that's uh, Paisa region in Colombia. And the black bottom. Uh, the origin is Rwanda, which is very cool. So we're drinking African coffee. Awesome. Mm. It's good. Yeah. So it's mellow. The yeah the the it's really mellow, it, but it has a really good flavor. I, it's it's I you know if you're thinking about it and thinking of in terms of how you describe wine, it's yeah. not very com complex, mm -hmm. simple, easy on the palate. Um, would we'll definitely order it again yeah and i'm again interested in trying the other ones this is a three pack by the way right this you, like we said this three pack came oh, in 20, yeah 26 26 dollars it tells you how much and they I'll also to you. they also have merchandise on their site so you can do that uh like i said they're out of out of dc a uh, couple of young young brothers and uh, this is a really good product they're they're creating they've created uh a a culture or they're they're blending the coffee with the culture is what right. they say on their on their website as well which I think is a great idea mm -hmm. it's just like cigars uh, it, it creates a, a, another division of the culture and coffee it brings people together listen we have all of these large coffee firm companies and um, franchises out here and actually not even franchises but we spend ten dollars on a cup of coffee we can do the same thing in our own community and with our own people and because they're good products as yeah, well absolutely you know so please continue to support black owned as we always say pour, pour it if you like it pour, pour it again, again. Mm. 
Not That's bad right. at all. Not bad at all. Got a good burn. I, I think I scorched mine a little bit on the tip. 